How's it going YouTube? I am Seth McMillan. This is my tutorial on how to make a mob grinder. And... Well, let me tell you, the first thing you need is a shit ton of building blocks. Well, I wouldn't say shit ton, but quite a bit. I know that the total height of the base to the little port area on this mob grinder was 15 blocks high. So you will need <clears throat> at least one, two, three, four, roughly about two full stacks to build the entire thing. I would say maybe three just to be uh, safe. But uh, this should work on all mobs. One thing that is very important to keep is that on the base you have a cobblestone slab, or a slab of any kind. Because without that, spiders could simply slip through a one block space, so if you eliminate that, boom, you've got everything set. Spiders may not take fall damage, but once they fall down there, you can just kill them with no problem. They're just going to be, I guess by definition, bar fish in a barrel. So, uh, aside from that, with the update coming in, Johan said probably three to four weeks, so probably mid-August or so, uh, we will be getting skeletons and spiders in one update, which is going to be amazing. And, uh, I'm going to have to reconfigure this when they add creepers, but, uh, It'd probably be something like, I don't know, I'll figure that out when the time comes, but uh, until then. And you see, I like to do this little hatch pattern, it's both for aesthetics, and it it's a little easier to build on if you have a way to connect the blocks. So, as you can see here, you need a little spawning area, and I believe the rule is... Within a 180 block radius, a mob will spawn in, or to attack the player. But uh, sometimes you will have to leave the area for them to spawn. You'll see that later in the video. I had to edit it so it wouldn't be just me wasting a whole bunch of time and adding time to this video in case it did run over. Uh, I will probably add improvements to this when we get buckets, or the ability to use water, mainly because it'll be a much more efficient mob grinder, and, well, uh, no other reason than that. I guess it would be more of an auto mob grinder, but, uh... The manual part of the whole thing is just killing the mobs once they fall. And something just to keep in mind is do not build the grinder over 22 blocks. Because unfortunately that will kill the mob. Actually at 22 blocks period because when they fall they will die from fall damage. Although... There's no real problem in that. There, you'll still get the mob drops. Uh, I did make another successful one that did work. I might do a tutorial on that one, but it was essentially one design like the ones you would see on Captain Sparkle's channel with the lava. But instead of lava, I use cacti. So yeah, it was pretty effective. It killed probably 10 zombies or so. But, yeah. This is my first commentary, which is why I'm not narrating my actions as I go. And a world record build of a mob grinder that actually worked at 9 minutes and 21 seconds. That is awesome. Also, this is a request video, so, uh... This is actually my first request video, I just realized that. That is really cool. <clears throat> and this would be the adding of the wall that will go around it. 
I know, this is just awful of excitement, huh? But... I'm actually quite amazed because it probably took me an hour when I built the one on my Let's Play world. Which is why I didn't do a video of it, but this one... Well, I also was in, uh... I also had plenty of cobblestone, so that... It would have just been useless to video that, as it would take way too much time and require too much editing, in my opinion. Although this is probably the most edited video I've done for Pocket Edition, so uh, if you show some support, be sure to drop it a thumbs up, share on Twitter, Facebook, wherever. I'm not going to be mad at that because that's showing this show some support. And remember, Minecraft Pocket, Ed Pocket Edition Let's Play Season 2 begins on August 1st. And I realized something today that's kind of ironic is that's also the same day that Minecraft 1.3 is released. So kind of a bit of irony there. And later on in the video you will get to see a whole bunch of zombies spazzing out. I think this may be the first video of being inside of a mob grinder, too. So, go ahead, sit back, grab a drink, maybe some chips or some food, enjoy the video, and this is where the commentary for the actual building part ends. So, about three minutes of quiet, which kind of, I'm sorry about that, but, you know, I didn't want to go rambling on about something that would be nonsensical as I am right now. So, I will see you in a few minutes. Alright, so if you did this right, you should be able to, if you're, you know, actually in survival, see all of the zombies that have spawned. Although I do not recommend doing this in, in actual gameplay, as it probably would kill you. I had to cut part of the next scene out because I had to leave so that the mobs would spawn. Also, if the brightness isn't... You know, I guess for lack of better terms, that bright is because I did I forget to turn the brightness up while recording. 
and we will see you back in a few seconds. Alright, so here we go. We return back after a few seconds of walking around, and boom. Mobs that fell down, but did not die. I repeat, you will need a 15 block high, at least 15 blocks high. Well, really, just about anything over four, four blocks would work, but 15 will give you a greater spawning chance. And, uh, as you can see, it works very efficiently. Although, without water, it won't work like on the PC version. And here is just a little bonus clip for all of you. Mainly because I think this is honestly the first time anyone has ever been inside of a mob grinder with mobs and creative. Look at these zombies, they're just spazzing out completely. I was just busting out laughing the whole time while I recorded that. That is hilarious as hell. So again, if you like, rate, subscribe, comment, do as you do, share wherever you like. And thanks for all the support. I'll happily take request videos. This is the end of the video and enjoy a bunch of zombies just spazzing out and watch them drop to injury. Thanks for watching and stay gold, Mac Army.